I'm your huckleberry. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Ames and we're watching Tombstone. Oh, for strong Western violence, it is rated R. Watch out, kids. 1679, the Civil War is over and spurs the great migration west. Killers and thieves seek their fortunes. Out of this chaos comes legendary lawman Wyatt Earp, retiring his badge and gun to start a peaceful life. Earp's friend, Doc Holliday, a southern gentleman turned gunman and gambler, also travels west. While Texas outlaws band together to form the ruthless gang recognized by the red sashes they wear. They call themselves the Cowboys. Whoa! Tombstone! Ace is on his boots. <laughs> Look at that mustache. Y'all killed two cowboys. Uh-oh. Oh, he sacrificed the body to save his bride. <laughs> That was thick blood. Looks like we win. Looks like. <laughs> what a horrible wedding day. Baskin police, huh? Oh. Tell him get on his knees. He will not kneel, patron. Hey, somebody get this stick on his knees. <laughs> Good job, Billy. <laughs> they call me Curly Bill Brosis. The next time we come, you better step aside. Patron, he said someone would come to revenge for him. It's not what he said, you ignorant wretch. Spanish is worse than your English. Did you go to hell? You first. No. What did Mexican mean? Behold, a pale horse. The man who sat on him was death, and hell followed with him. Foreshadowing. The mustaches, the amount of detail and grooming on those bad boys back then. Hurts, don't it? Oh. Rolly Day, U.S. Marshal for this territory. Forget it. I'm retired. I did my duty. I'd like to get on with my life. I'm going to Tombstone. Never saw a rich man didn't wind up with a guilty conscience. I already got a guilty conscience. Might as well have the money, too. <laughs> Boy, I'd know that sour face anywhere. <laughs> Virgil Morgan. Only right, Ma always said Morgan's the prettiest. Yeah, but she doted on the frowner. That's right. Folks, this is Celia Ann, but you can call her Maddie. Well, Wyatt, I couldn't find a single store that had laudanum that's anywhere. Okay. Yes, I recognize everybody that's in this. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you for this, Wyatt. It's all you're doing. We'll make our fortune, boys. Just be careful now. It's gonna hop. Oh, don't worry. I just get headaches sometimes. I miss Doc. I miss that old rip. It makes me laugh. Oh, I'm trying to learn how to do this right now, but I don't have the right coin. 500 must be a peach of a hand. Kate, you're not wearing a bustle. I suppose I'm deranged, but I guess I'll just have to call. Isn't that a daisy? Son of a bitch. Take your money and get out. I'm tired of listening to your mouth. Why, yeah, baby. We cross. I'm tapping his gun. Guns don't scare me. Without them guns, you ain't nothing but a skinny lunger. Ooh. Now we can be friends again. <laughs> Over a card game. <laughs> Touch that gun, I'll burn you down. Oh, ho, ho, scheming. Yeah, that's the end of this town. The horse is outside. That's why you're not wearing a bustle. Well, let's not bother about the luggage. Oh, he didn't even exhale that cigarette. <laughs> Guess that's why they call it the Old Wild West. It's like the Oregon Trail. Don't want to get dysentery. 
You'd always lose someone of dysentery on that game. I also just started playing Red Dead Redemption. That's kind of what it reminds me of. <laughs> Here lies Lester Moore. I just did a road trip through the Midwest and there were a lot of Wells Fargo's. Smell the silver in this town. Newcomers, eh? Name's John Behan, Cochise County Sheriff. White Earth. Earth. Morgan. Dodge City. Gave all that up, Sheriff. Going into business. Don't even carry a gun. Side Sheriff, I'm also tax collector, captain of the fire brigade, and chairman of the nonpartisan anti-Chinese league. Say, you folks got a place to stay yet? No. Well, I also sit on the town lot commission. Really? We got three lovely cottages coming up for rent. No, well, sounds pretty good. Well, I'll have my man show them to you. I want you to meet Fred White. He's a town marshal. My pleasure. <laughs> a lot of law around here. Already met the county sheriff. The only real law around here is the cowboys. Nobody does nothing without them. You can always spot a cowboy. They always wear those red sashes. Mm. About all these saloons. Oh, that's a real mother load here in Tombstone. Taking money hand over fist. All except the Oriental. Even the high rollers won't go near it. Are they going to meet up with Val Kilmer's character? Kind of nice in here. Go. You run it. Bill Joyce, owner, operator. Kind of dead in here, isn't it? You don't listen to me, good, do you? See that bird at the faro table? Chase out all the high class play. Why don't you get rid of him, get yourself a straight dealer? That's easy for you to say. You nerve wracking sons of bitches. Something on your mind? I want to let you know you're sitting in my chair. Is that a fact? Yeah, that's a fact. Well, for a man that don't go healed, you run your mouth kind of reckless, don't you? No need to go healed to get the bulge on a tub like you. That's a fact. Skin that smoke wagon and see what happens. <laughs> oh, no, Lenny, that's not it. I'm awful tired of your <laughs> I'm getting tired of your gas. Now jerk that pistol and go to work. <laughs> oh! I said throw down, boy. Oh. You gonna do something or just stand there and bleed? That's a good line. I didn't think so. All right, youngster, out you go. Oh. <laughs> Literally pulling him out by his ear. Oh, what do you say, Milt? 25% of the house takes on about right. <laughs> nice. Already work in the town. <laughs> We're off and running. Just acquired us a quarter interest in the game at the Oriental. Uh-oh. Why, Johnny Tyler! Mad cat. Doc? Where are you going with that shotgun? Why does he look so sickly? Well, well. How the hell are you? <gasps> Wyatt, I am rolling. They know each other. Wyatt Earp. Going into business for ourselves, Doc. Well, I just got us a Pharaoh game. Did you always say that gambling's an honest trade? No, I said poker's an honest trade. That's what I love about Wyatt. He can talk himself into anything. Johnny, I apologize. I forgot you were there. You may go now. He got lucky there. I'm going to be as big as San Francisco in a few years and just as sophisticated. Can you, you change Very cosmopolitan. <laughs> I know him. Creek Johnson. Wyatt? Doc? What the hell's that all about, Creek? Cross this to bet and call me a liar. No one gets arrested for killing people. Great, I'll have to have those guns. It was a fair fight. We was legal. I gotta take it before Judge Spice. Law and order every time. That's us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know any of the laws back then, so I'm in the dark on that kind of stuff. <laughs> nice scenery. An enchanted moment. <laughs> I wonder who that tall drink of water is. He's got the look of both predator and prey. I want one. Mm -hmm. Can't tell if it's love at first sight or not. <laughs> Catch this. <laughs> They're shooting at us. They're actually shooting at us. <laughs> Ooh. Take a seat. That's great. That's great. blow the roof off this place, <laughs> quite literally. <laughs> oh, giving him them eyes. Damn, you may indeed, if you get lucky. Oh, did he only just notice her now? He didn't really notice her on the street? <laughs> she was like, uh. Going to the Oriental Verge? Not tonight. Tonight me and my old man are gonna have some fun. 
Well, you better go with him, honey. I gotta go to work. Please stay with me. Well, honey, I, I gotta get to work. She a bit worried he's gonna run into that girl? No, no, I don't want to keep you. Oh, really? I can stay a while. She keeps taking that stuff. Maybe you should see a doctor. <sighs> it's just headaches. Stuff's not going well in that relationship. Whew. So, now we're in the mining business. You're the one, why? You turn into regular tycoon. Do you actually consider yourself a married man? Oh, yeah, pretty much. Mm. <clears throat> and what would you do if she walked in here? <gasps> oh, I'd probably ignore her. Ignore her? Oh, hell. <laughs> He ignored her. Oh my god. I stand corrected, Wyatt. You're an oak. Hmm. Mr. Oak, would you mind signing an autograph for me, sir? <laughs> Heard of you. Law don't go around here. I'm retired. <laughs> you must be Doc Holliday. Well, that's the rumor. You retired too? Not me. I'm in my prime. Yeah, you look it. Yeah, you don't look like you're in your prime. Johnny Ringo, deadliest pistol <laughs> since Wild Bill, they say. Just something about him. Something around the house. I'm sure of it. I hate him. Creda Judea Sotella. Juventus Stultorum. We don't want any trouble in here, not in any language. <laughs> now I really hate him. How fun would it have been to train for that? Oh. <laughs> Come on, you gotta laugh. Yeah. <laughs> gotta have a good laugh at that. Drinks are on me. Cal Reese was pissed there. <laughs> it's wider. Better name for himself as a peace officer. Very impressive. <laughs> I like him even more. <laughs> oh, hell. Hello. Hello. I'm Josephine just... Marcus. Everybody knows. <laughs> that mayor's in season. Well, I guess we'd better split him up. Let's run it out of them. Yeah, I'm an oak, all right. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to court each other. <laughs> Blonde woman, is that your wife? She's straight to the point. What do you want out of life? <laughs> you get these questions. Just answer. Well, I don't know. Make some money, I guess. Maybe. I want to move and go places and never look back. Just have fun. Forever. I don't have time to be proper. I want to live. I'm a woman. I like men. At least I'm honest. But you're a lady, all right. I'll take my oath on it. Maddie is going to be pissed. Oh, no. She's, she's, she's not well. She's an addict. Is that the opium Lou gave you? How are you feeling, Maddie? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. We pulled out stakes and just moved on, you know? And we could stay on the move. Just keep going. See the world. Just thinking <laughs> out loud, you know? What do you really want? You can't have a real conversation with her because she's an addict on the opium. I feel great. Just capital. No, he's like out of his mind. Somebody's gotta do something. Well, I believe you're the sheriff. No, no, this is a town matter, Marshal. No, he's gonna kill this old guy. Oh. <laughs> Alan at the moon. No, this guy's off his rocker. Curly Bell! <laughs> Hand him over. <sighs> Nobody's hanging anybody. <gasps> he just killed a man. I'm gonna stand trial for it. Oh back. no, now he's getting pulled into all this stuff in this town. He's supposed to be retired. Law dog, you don't step aside, we'll tear you apart. You die first, get it? Friends might get me in a rush, but not before I make your head into a canoe. You understand me? Now tell him to get back. Go on now, get back. You're next. Drunk piano player. You're so drunk, you can't hit nothing. Hmm. <laughs> I have two guns, one for each of you. Go home now. What's he gonna do with him? So it takes Judge Spicer three weeks to get back to town, and he says, you can't have a murder without a witness. What? Case dismissed. Yeah. 
is none of my business anyway. Maybe we ought to open up a place of our own. Now, what do you think, Verge? What's going on with Verge? Please, will you just hear now, me Now, hold out? on, Mayor. We already told you no. You tell him, Morg. What about you? You were a lawman. I'm busy. I'm a lot of decent people are suffering. Don't let me take up any more of your precious time. Rack them. God, this would be terrifying. Just all the time with people coming through, shooting up the place. I see all the people suffering now. Unlawful to possess deadly weapons. Nobody's saying you can't own a gun. All we're saying is you can't carry a gun in town. Everyone's like, what the hell? I told you we weren't getting involved. You got us involved and you brought us here. These people are afraid to walk down the street and I'm trying to make money off that like some goddamn vulture. We're gonna have a future in this town. It's gotta have some law and order. Jeez. It's got nothing to do with you, Wyatt. Talk to him, will you? Or hit him? He's on his side. Ah, oh, God, don't tell me. <gasps> now, this is trouble we don't need. We know what we're doing, Wyatt. I was only ever mixed up in one shooting, just one. But a man lost his life and I took it. You don't know how that feels, Morton. Believe me, boy, you don't ever want to know. Not ever. You're both making a big mistake. Oh, how Kurt Russell was so powerful in that scene. Got some acting chops. Doc won't quit. He's been at it for 36 hours straight. Why? Just in time. Pull up a chair. Mm -hmm. The 12 hands in a row holiday, son of a bitch. Nobody's that lucky. Thinks he's cheating. Maybe poker's just not your game, my What about if I just ring your scurly <laughs> down? Don't you ever try to manhandle a cow because we'll cut your goddamn pimp's heart out. You understand me? You <laughs> cheap fat me, you little son of a bitch. God, everyone's on edge. Everyone's drunk. Yeah, he's not well. Palm right as the male. I thought he coughed up blood there for a sec. You I hope you die. <gasps> Nobody cheated your wife. Just go home. He just backhanded him. <laughs> Backhand and then a pistol whip. Oh. Wearing that badge don't make you right. Easy, kid. I'm sorry. I ain't easy. I ain't your kid. I'll fight you right now. You got a fight coming. Coming today. Yeah, I was going to say, there's going to be a big battle, <laughs> or whatever you call it, coming. Because things are just heating up. I'm like, I would hate to live back then. It was just, everyone's on edge. So scary. So good. Two years, two days, hard to say. Classic, ignoring the doctor. <laughs> Hope she doesn't leave him. We must redefine the nature of our association. Don't I always take care of you? Uh, there's six of them. Guess maybe you better swear me in. Oh. Whoa. Those cowboys have been telling everybody in town they're gonna clean you out. They're back there in that lot behind the OK Corral. Ah, shoot it at the OK Corral. Got cowboys coming around looking for trouble from here to Christmas. You wanna risk all that over a misdemeanor? Damn right, I'll risk it. They're breaking the law. That's your problem, Doc. You don't have to mix up in this. That is a hell of a thing for you to say to me. <sighs> Come on, get home. <sighs> Kid's lucky he didn't get shot. Come on, go, Rich. You're gonna disarm me and throw up your hands. Not what I want. Doc is sick and he is still in the fight. <gasps> oh my god. Oh. God, he's good. No, no. I got no gun. Fight commence. Get the fight or get away. <laughs> Well, this guy talked a big talk. Oh no! 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 I was worried about that, brother. Oh, whoa. God. I got you now, you son of a bitch. You're a daisy if you do. These guys are good. Hold quiet now. 
He was so nervous and he's the one who got shot. Well, so did Verge in the leg, but. Okay, so he got shot in the shoulder. I got shot in the chest. All of you are under arrest. What? I don't think I'll let you arrest us today, Behan. A lot going on in this scene right now. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess we did our good deed for today, Mayor. Oh. You're right. It's nothing like I thought. Almost wishing I know more. Your spring's coming. I say hello. It's deputy, and I don't want to talk to you. Those men you killed were my friends. Sister boy should have stuck around. You want Ringo? I want your blood. I don't want any more trouble. Well, you got trouble! And it starts with you. I'm not gonna fight you, Ringo. There's no money in it. Hmm. Don't any of you have the guts to fight for blood? I'm your huckleberry. I'll put you out of your misery. Say wham. Don't mind him. He just drunk. That's all. Ringo! Oh, knock down all the coffins. I need to speak with you. Not now, I'm busy. <laughs> I see what's going on between you and Wyatt. I'm not a fool. Now after tonight, there'll be one man in charge of Tombstone. Paying him for the hit on these guys? No, Verge is all alone. I know it's awful to come here, but listen, I think something's gonna happen tonight. <gasps> no! Kill one of the ladies? Oh no, is he is he hit or stabbed? <gasps> oh no. Will you hurry with that water, please? He hit Clum's house too. Shot up his wife. His wife! Hey now, we gotta get out of here. I'm afraid your husband's going to lose the use of his arm. I still got one good arm to hold you with. Oh no. Morgan, wait a minute! All right, what do you want me to do? Just leave me alone for God's sake. How is he gonna lose his goddamn arm? I'm here to let you know that it wasn't me. I had no part of it. Brothers to the bone, right, McMasters? Not anymore. Oh, he threw down his cowboy colors. Doctor has been busy tonight. No. Remember what I said about seeing a light when you're dying? <gasps> I can't see a damn thing. Morg? <sighs> oh, he didn't want to get involved in this, and now his brother. Can't you see? Get away from me! He's always turning her back on him. Oh, They're leaving. And so she walked out of our lives forever. I want you to know it's over. Well, bye. Smells like someone died. Oh. I thought he was gonna shoot him there for saying that. That's Virgil with the women. He's mine. Right behind you, Stillwell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these guys are too smart. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, then they got these guys with them. You see that? It says United please. States Marshal. Why? Please don't kill me. Oh, this guy's such a baby. The cowboys are finished, you understand me? Tell all the other curs the lie's coming! You tell them I'm coming! And hell's coming with me, you hear? <laughs> He's so good. Look at this epic shot in the sunset. <laughs> Taking down all the cowboys. off the wrong family the wrong man whoa <laughs> how the hell are you 
No! What? What are you doing? Get some, boy. Ah. No! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Aiden! No! Hell, I ain't never even heard of anything like that. Well, let's hope he's got another miracle up his sleeve. If I know Ringo, he's headed straight for us. Oh, yeah, Ringo still left. If they were my brothers, I'd want revenge, too. Not revenge he's after, the reckoning. Hmm. Sure to be in bed. What the hell are you doing this for, anyway? Wide up is my friend. Kill, I got lots of friends. I don't. Oh, no. It's your friends that did it. Oh. I'm sorry, sir, but we got to have some law. Oh. Ringo and Bean are out front. Oh, oh, it is blood. Oh, Doc. He looks pretty bad to me. This is gonna be another rough loss for him. And I'm, I'm sorry that I. I forgave you the moment you said it. Will they ever meet again? Will they go find her if he makes it through this? Are they dropping off? It better not be Verge. McMaster's. Oh. Ringo wanted to make sure he got your attention, Marshal. He wants a straight up fight, just you and him. Oak Grove at the mouth of Silver Springs Canyon. Seven o'clock. Oh. You tell him I'll be there. Great. I'll be there. Shootout time. I can't beat him, can I? No. Mm. I'm going with you. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wyatt. What's it like to wear one of those? Can give it to him. Oh. He's waiting for you by the big oak. Quarter mile up that trail. By the big oak? Well... I didn't think you had it in you. I'm your huckleberry. <laughs> he can beat him. You look like somebody just walked over your grave. We started a game we never got to finish. Play for blood, remember? He knows he's already gonna die, so... Why not go for it? And this time, it's legal. Let's do it. Say when. I, I love the tension. It's killing me. <laughs> Why? He's so good. Oh, God. Ronnie. Come on! You know, thank you all. <laughs> Poor soul, he was just too high strung. <sighs> he put his life on the line for his friend, his only friend. Wasn't quite as sick as I made out. <laughs> the last charge of Wyatt Earp and his immortals. I love the sequences and the cut shots of all this. I love that. Colorado. How are we feeling today, Doc? I'm dying. How are you? Mm. What would you want? Just to live a normal life. Mm. There's no normal life. Why? That's just life. You get on with it. Say goodbye to me. Go grab that spirited actress and make her your own. For me. <laughs> if you ever had even the slightest feeling for me, leave now. Please. Thanks for always being there, Doc. What Val Kilmer just did there with his acting. I don't know how he did that. To be still and have all that emotion. I want to say that was incredible. You ever see the sun come up over the Rockies? <laughs> I have nothing left. I promise I'll love you the rest of your life. My family's rich. <laughs> I was like, don't worry. She's an actress. She knows what it's like to be poor. <laughs> was it? May I have this dance? Oh, the dance, yeah. The power of the cowboy gang was broken forever. Ike Clanton was shot and killed two years later. Maddie died of a drug overdose shortly after she left Tombstone. That's sad. She's just going through rough stuff. 
Wyatt and Josephine embarked on a series of adventures. In 47 years, they never left each other's side. Wyatt Earp died in Los Angeles in 1929. Among the pallbearers at his funeral were early Western movie stars William S. Hart and Tom Mix. Well, I don't know who any of those people are because now I need to watch a, a whole wad load of Westerns. <laughs> oh, look at these guys. This is like one of those movies of the time when like every actor is in it. Well, kind of knowing cliches about Westerns. I honestly like, I think this is the first Western I've ever seen. So at, there were times where I'm like, okay, what's going on? Or like, I didn't really get stuff, but I really do think it was powerful storytelling. I loved a lot of those action sequences that they did. And I think this is a very memorable portrayal of the Wild West. Uh, this is based on a true story, right? I definitely think these are iconic performances. Val Kilmer, we all know how amazing he is. He is such a talent. If you haven't seen his documentary, you guys should go watch it. He did go to Juilliard and he recorded his whole life, essentially, and that's they used a lot of that footage for the documentary. And he is with out a doubt, one of the best actors I've ever watched. And that final scene is literally a masterclass in acting. Like, I do not know how he played that role with all the nuances, with all the things going on within his character. Whew. Kurt Russell. I have seen a few things that Kurt Russell has been in, but oh my golly, he was so amazing. He was also so powerful in his role as well. Wyatt, I just, I was blown away. His intensity was just unmatched. I love Michael Bine, freaking Kyle Reese, Sam Elliott, Jason Priestley. Like there's so many people in this movie. I just loved a lot of this movie, the cinematography, the locations that they were at, the set deck, the costumes, the hair, just for the time piece it was, was really amazing. This is really making me very excited to jump into some classic Westerns because I would really like to learn more about them and the time period really. I know Westerns are beloved. so. It's just, that, it's just that time to get into it, you know, and discover a new genre. And I think Tombstone was a really great way to get into that. The shootouts, the showdowns, the Wild West is definitely lawless. It's rugged. It's rough. You know, this movie is about honor and justice and vengeance <laughs> clashed in an epic showdown that would become a legend. So I need to go and read a little bit about this, but clearly I've watched the movie, so now I know a little bit about it. I definitely think a lot of these characters are unforgettable and I'm, I'm very happy to have watched this. And now I have finally seen Tombstone. How could I forget about Bill Paxton? I love him, I love him. I just loved when Doc showed up, him, that was revealed instead of Wyatt with Ringo and the end just that was so epic <laughs> anyways you guys thank you so much for watching with me if you love movies don't forget to hit the subscribe hit the like and I will see you guys in the next reaction video ciao <laughs>